So in this video, I paint and put the logo onto the pull strutter of my 1982 Honda 185S three-wheeler. And it turns out okay. This could have gone a lot better though. Oh well, here's how I do it. In the last video, we repaired the pull strutter to my 1982 Honda 185S three-wheeler. And it worked quite well. Unfortunately, the pull cord that I put on, on it was a bit too weak. So, I'm going to either put the original on, which is a bit too short, or I'll put a little bit longer one on. This is just regular rope, and I'll probably put a handle on that. And that should work good. Now, since I'm going to be having it apart, that'll be a good chance to paint it. It got a little bit rusty because the past couple of days have been incredibly humid. Everything is just dripping with water like, it's, like it was raining, but it wasn't raining. So I'll wire brush it just a little bit. It's just a little bit of surface rust. And then we'll paint it with some of this paint. Then on the inside, so since I'll have it apart anyway, I'll put some oil into it, some engine oil. I'll put that on all the parts. That way, there will be A, lubrication, and B, there would also be a, a layer of oil to keep it from rusting more. This thing comes apart quite easily. Yeah, I think these are kind of not doing much, these homemade springs. I'll just throw this, you know, I'll just throw it, take the whole thing out. The spring's working nicely. I never really could get it very clean in here in the beginning because, well, it's just difficult to get my wire brush in here. I brushed it a lot more this time. I think getting it down to the bare metal will make the paint stick harder and also it won't have the old paint to make it bumpy underneath. It should make the, the paint look better and smoother. I did kind of rough up the front plate though. But oh well. Let's paint it. I think it would be better to have it off the ground, that way the cat doesn't get into it. And also, it's up in the air, so it'll be easier to paint and get down, like, from this angle. I think that's turning out nice, though. Let's give it a few more layers. Oh, that's looking wonderful. I'm thinking three coats would be good enough. I don't know if I might put more, though. Well, I think that turned out wonderfully. I put three coats on it. Now, let's cover the insides and that with some oil so it doesn't rust. Thank you. 
now I'm going to put this cord on here. And it already comes with a knot on it too, so that's pretty cool. And hey, it's blue. That's pretty cool. Well, this kind of pisses me off. All the parts that I was trying to paint so it wouldn't rust got the paint scuffed off. I guess I should have let the paint sit like three or four hours, but it said it dries in 15 minutes. I don't know. I also bought the bolts for it, so I can actually bolt it on now. Well, that looks pretty good. Of course, I'm just treating this like a primer. I can always paint over that later, and I probably will too. But for now, this will help it keep it from rusting. And I like how sturdy it is too. Well, unfortunately, I'm not very satisfied with leaving it with those scuffs and grease marks on it. So, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to paint it, and then I'll, I'll put three more coats on it, so I have six coats, and I'll let it sit overnight. There, that should be good. So last night I put three more coats of paint on this and it's turning out nicely. Now I want to make a stencil so I can put the logo back on. Unfortunately I couldn't find a good copy of the stencil on the internet. But luckily I did take a picture of the, stencil, of the logo before it got washed off by electrolysis. Then I rotated it in GIMP and turned it to a negative in GIMP also. And now I loaded, up in, I loaded it up in Blender and put it a texture on a couple polygons and then I was able to skew it so it makes it exactly round and now in Blender I can zoom in and out to make it a, the exact right size which is, is 10.5 centimeters wide so then I can put this sticky paper over the screen and draw the stencil. Then I'll put the sticky paper onto 
the pull starter and then I can cut out where I want it, the paint to hit and then I can paint it and it'll make a stencil. Then I can just peel it away and it'll have the logo on the pull starter. In the description, I'll put a link to a higher resolution image of this Honda logo in case you need it. And just FYI, you probably don't want to do this with new sticky paper. This is very old sticky paper, so it's very weak. But newer sticky paper might stick to your LCD screen and ruin it. Don't know. Now I'll just color this in. Well, let's see how that did. That eh, looks okay. It might have been a better idea to do this to my glass CRT screen. There we go. So with the help of this rough image and the complete image on my tablet, I'm going to cut out the stencil that I need and then we can paint over it. I'm kind of happy with that. It is kind of nasty looking, but you're going to see it from very far away usually. Not many people get really up close to look at logos, so it'll look okay. I'm not going to worry about the made in Japan because those letters will be way too small. Now the original color for that was either black or brown. It kind of was dependent on what year or what time, I guess. I don't know. I've seen several different variations, but since I only have really red with me, I think I'll try red. I don't think that'd be too bad since Honda's, Honda's color is red, so yeah. let's give it a go. I put two coats of paint onto that and it should be good enough. I let it sit for about a half hour to dry and let's take off this and see how it does. You gotta be kidding me. I put it on upside down. Oh, for fuck's sake! God damn it! Piece of fucking shit. Ah, oh, this is just fucking great, isn't it? This is fucking great! Fucking great! Now let's try again.
I put two coats of paint onto it and let it sit for about an hour. I think that should be good enough. I am kind of happy with this. Eh, ish. It could have been could have been a lot better. But now for the functionality, this pull cord is a bit too long. So I'm going to cut about 2 feet off of it. Yeah, that's pretty long. Well, unfortunately, these bolts that I got to, to hook this thing up, well, the heads are a really large size. So that means if I use my large size sockets, it would scrape the paint off of here. Well, my smaller size ones would fit okay. Unfortunately, I lost the little extender from, uh, to connect the socket to the wrench. Well, I made one. Just took this. So this fits inside this socket. And this will fit into here. You know, that's actually probably good enough just to not have to redo it. Maybe, maybe it didn't turn out all that bad after all. Whoops. Works great. I think that's pretty much it for this video, because I've got to start the next video. My new tires came in. It's three tires packed into one little thing. Oh well, they got to save money somehow. It was free shipping, so I can't complain. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!